column's been around for a long time. And, and the way the column works is it gets a sort of pattern control. In other words, it controls where the sound goes by means of, of um, interference. That's a terribly inefficient way to do things because some of the sound that's created by the device, the only function it has is to cancel other sound out. So the traditional column never quite rises to the level of, of its um, promise. <laughs> I said, Tom, we've got to make something that's, that fits a certain architectural look. It's got to be narrow, it's, it can be tall, but it's got to be narrow and it's got to be skinny. And it's, it cannot look like uh, an SH-96 or something like that. A lot of these applications that they were going into it all was driven by the aesthetic. They wanted something that just basically could disappear. Well, the SBH series is actually, we used a paraline to shape the wavefront from each of the drivers. Uh, and the overall effect is that it puts a curvature on the exit wavefront uh, that is like what would be produced from a source that was about 25 feet behind the source. There's been a need for a column product for quite some time. Uh, the issue at, up till now, or up till last year, was I didn't see a way to make one that didn't have the same problems that the other columns have. A horn brings so much more to the table than any self-interfering device can. We build horns. Danley Sound Labs builds horns. And the remarkable thing about the SBH is it's a horn in the form factor of a column. It is not what it looks like. The SBH has a family of products coming. We have the SBH 10, we also have the SBH 20, and the SBH 20 LF. The 20, it's essentially the same frequency response as the SBH 10, it's just half the height. We think this will be a huge upside to a lot of people because it'll be a less expensive, it uses half the drivers, but it's still got four coaxial uh, drivers in it, so there's a lot of acoustic output, and it enables us to put these into more creative places. Recently, we had an opportunity to put the SBH up against literally everybody else who makes column loudspeakers. We were going up against speakers in some cases that were five times the cost, much, much larger, and every one of our competition had massive amounts of signal processing. And I was really happy to see that we held our own. Our speaker is much more simple. You simply plug it in. There's no tweaking, adjusting, setting. Uh, you, just like any horn, you point it to where you want the sound to go, and it goes there. Everybody that hears that product, especially when we steer it back and pull them in and out of the vertical, it, their jaws drop because they, they just are not used to hearing that kind of directivity out of something that's basically five feet tall. So it's a much more reliable, much more honest, open sounding. Um, it's just a great value. We, we just find this, this idea of stacking a bunch of drivers on top of each other so that they interfere. We, we find that somehow distasteful, I guess. We resisted building a column until we figured out how to do it with integrity. It's a form factor that's, that's popular, that people want, that fits into architecture in places that we weren't able to go before, but keeps our core values intact. It's a horn, it behaves like a horn. It gives you all the advantages that a horn does, but it looks like a column.